Hey, g'day, it's Steve from Big Bike Adventures. Occasionally, I get sent some items to review, and today I'm gonna to do a review of a product I'm really excited about. We're gonna run the intro, and then after the intro, we're gonna shine a little light on the subject. So we're standing here at the beach this afternoon, the sun's going down, we're gonna have a beautiful sunset. And when the sunset is finished and the sun goes down, we're gonna do a review of the Olite Perrin 2. So a couple of things about this light. One is it's actually a billet aluminium build, so it's really, really tough. I mean, this they say you can drop this from 1.5 meters without any damage, which you're not gonna do intentionally but if you drop it off the side of the bike or whatever you know it's not going to get hurt it's a really really robust bit of gear it's got this really cool sensor in it so that when you pull up a book or you want to read a map or something it actually dulls it um, from the setting that you're on to one that's not going to give you too much reflected light which is really cool uh, it's got three different settings that's that's not three that's three it's got three different settings it's got just a moonlight mode, which is just normal for moving around. Then it's got a three phase, low, medium and high. And then it's got a turbo mode. But it also does some really cool things like SOS flashing for emergencies. You know, we all, as bike riders, carry emergency beacons. It's also got an SOS emergency beacon flasher as well. So it's really cool. I like this thing a lot. It's a, it's a great handheld unit. It's perfect size for tank bags. And it's actually probably for a headlight it's probably a little bit heavy but you know that's only if you if you're just moving around a campsite it's fine it, the battery in it in uh, moonlight mode uh, is reported to last up to 10 days i haven't tried that but certainly if you're doing an extended couple of weeks trip you're going to be able to get most of your light out of that for what you need so really really impressive bit of gear i'll put some links in here to the olight website and the link to the parent too uh, really cool bit of gear, certainly worthwhile looking at if you're looking at upgrading your lights. I really like the magnetic induction. Uh, you just charge it into your bike or a power pack or ha however you're charging your gear while you're out on trips. So really, really cool. So the, the magnet can be stuck onto the bonnet of a car or on the side or whatever. You know, it can be used as just a thousand uses for magnets as we know. So it's a really, really handy light. But I just like the size of it. It's a really, really nice handy size torch for just for moving around and doing stuff. So this is what it looks like when it's mounted in the uh, headlamp. It's just a headlamp holder on a strap, but the light itself is just activated by a, a button on the end of the of the light itself. It's kind of a fairly heavy light. It's, it, it's not heavy in your hand. It's a perfect size for when it's in your hand. But if you're moving around a campsite, it's gonna be okay. But if you're gonna try and do some running or you know, ultra marathons at night, this is not the light for you. But this is great light just for moving around the campsite and just holding in your hand. You can put it down, it stands up by itself. Really, really cool light. But we're gonna wait for the sun to go down first. So the only light you're gonna see is probably from this. So I'm not sure what the video is gonna look like, but we're gonna go with it anyway. So this is the Olight Perrin 2. It's got a, a range of functions. So the first one is to turn it on. It's what they call moonlight. It's a pretty low level beam, but perfect for when it's dark. And that's one press, one press on, one press off. If you press it twice, it goes turbo mode. Now that's light that'll go for like 160 meters. It's pretty impressive and turn that off. And then the really cool feature I like, and hopefully you'll never ever get to use it, is the SOS mode. So three presses, one, two, three flashes short, three flashes long, three short flashes, SOS. 
I don't sort of bike you down to be able to utilise that, but I'm sure there's some of you out there could use a, a, a really bright. That's in the that's in the uh, turbo mode as well. So, you know, you could show that to a helicopter or boats, anything. It's pretty cool. Okay. So that's turbo mode. So we're going to press it one. We're going to press and hold it now, and that's going to then cycle through the three different levels. So there's low, medium, and high. So low, medium, high, and then wherever you stop, take your finger off is what you'll end up with. So, and then turn that off. One press moonlight, press and hold will give you the cycle. Two presses, turbo mode. Three presses, you get the SOS. Pretty cool, hey? Now, here's the thing, excuse the mic noise. Now if you don't want to use it as a headlamp, it's got this really cool clip and you can just clip it on and work hands free anyway. So really, really like that. That's a great feature about this one. And it's got, comes with a lanyard to put around your wrist so you don't lose it. Very cool little torch. I like that. It's great size. Really, really good size. And as with most things these days, LED bulbs, uh, really robust, waterproof. To about a meter uh, again induction um, magnetic connection so I, I really like that but also gives you the capacity to charge it from any USB device